Hello and welcome back. We were just now learning about git. Now we are learning about post. Post uh, ba ma basically makes it much more secure for your site. Uh, normally, the normal method for form to send the variables is over the URL. I'll add this little question mark, our URL, or our variable, and then the variable's value. Now, uh, of course, this can be easily modified. It's modified, so if you're sending uh, precious information or stuff that you don't want accessed by the user, then you, you would use post. See, it now says, hello, hacksers. Now, we use post by doing this. Under our form tags, we do method equals post. This basically turns it into a post. And basically we switch git to post. That is all there is to it. Personally, I use post for just about everything. I mean, and I mean everything. Git is sort of useless now. You can see that uh, this little thing doesn't do anything now because we're not checking for it. We're not using it. Now we can do something like Sean, submit. And you can see that it still has the same result, but our user cannot access it in the URL. Now, uh, one tool built into stuff like uh, Chrome and uh, Opera is the inspector element. Now, this is a tool that basically lets you modify the current information of the page. Like, I can right click, inspect element, and I could change this live. Oops. Just like that. So I'm able to change the name of this to something random. Therefore, when I submit, even if I put some text in there, it won't show up because we are looking for the wrong thing. Some uh, people use create a hidden value. Here's a hidden value. Input type equals hidden. Name equals hide value equals secret info. Now we don't want uh, the user to be accessing this uh, secret information. So, but of course it's right out in the open because of our inspect element. Oh, on the secret info is you have been hacked. That's bad. Uh, one way to battle this is to only allow the variables that you assign. So that means if uh, you have something called like do, which is what you want to, uh, you want your script to do, such as register or login, then only allow the variables register or login. Otherwise, completely ignore it. Don't use it. Unset it. Stuff like that. That is all. Thanks for watching. Forms is amazing. That's all.